In this test, age doesn't matter. It's all about the science. This computer model can measure attractiveness nearly as accurately as a human. Developed by a researcher at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, it calculates various facial dimensions, then rates attractiveness on a scale from 1 to 10. So the pictures, um, they need to be a straight on shot of the face, not tilted to the side, um, not rotated to the side or anything. Um, you need to be able to see both ears and hopefully you can find a picture of someone with the mouth closed and no expression on their face. So we wondered, how do the presidential candidates stack up? So um, it gives you directions down here about what to click. I know what you're thinking. This isn't fair. John McCain is over 70 and this picture of Barack Obama isn't flattering. But Dr. Smith says what's really important are the measurements and the math. Um, we were just interested in the geometry of the face and how that related to attractiveness. So um, we just wanted to try to stick with an expressionless face. McCain edges out Obama by 0.03. According to Dr. Schmid, scores can vary because humans don't always click at exactly the same point. On average, Obama wins with a score of 7. McCain typically scores 6.5. So can an attractiveness score predict the next president? I hope not. <laughs> um, I hope that people vote on the issues more than they do on attractiveness.